My background is uh, computer engineering and my research is related to application of uh, ICT in healthcare. I'm a professor at the University Politecnica Timisoara in Romania. It's one of the biggest uh, technical universities here. Lately, my current research work is related to VR in um, healthcare, both in education and in rehabilitation. Uh, also, ambient assisted living, IoT and digitalization of healthcare with a strong advocacy for interoperability. Besides my research in the Mansion Domain, I organized and started in our university uh, the Master of Information Systems Applied in Healthcare since 2009. So, uh, this year we celebrate uh, 10 years of graduates in the uh, for our master uh, students. And during the last two years, I acted as president of uh, the European Federation of Medical Informatics, EFMI, and for the next two years, I will represent Europe uh, in EMEA, the International Medical Informatics Association. In EFMI, I participated in EU projects. The most recent one is Hostmart AI, with four partners with diverse structures and very ambitious goals. In AC2 committee of EFMI, that's uh, accreditation and certification. And on the organizational side, I had the initiative and created a new position board uh, as a young EFMI officer representing the young EFMI professionals in the forum. And I'm very glad that uh, I extended the diversity of the EFMI board at the moment. Given the, the nature of my activity, both uh, in EFMI and uh, at the university, I had the experience of communicating uh, with the users of uh, IT and healthcare. Uh, and the, the in-depth view came uh, in 2000, so more than 20 years ago, uh, when we had a project, a big project in Romania involving 100 uh, general practitioners all over Romania. And that was a diversity of attitudes and uh, habits related to IT, using IT in uh, the medical domain. Of course, since then, uh, things um, evolved in the, uh, in the better uh, aspect. And uh, I continued uh, with experiences in uh, uh, the interregional project, CASA, was a great experience related to uh, ambient assisted living <clears throat> and elderly using uh, technology. And also we had a very important national project called Teleassist. And uh, uh, then uh, I uh, looked at the uh, real needs of carers and also the uh, uh, elderly. We designed uh, very carefully the Teleassist from uh, two perspectives related to the users. It was a medical module uh, and a social uh, uh, one. So covering a larger spectrum of needs for the targeted users. And the importance of such an approach resulted also in the next projects. And currently I'm involved uh, in two main projects. Uh, a regional, an interregional, uh, European interregional uh, project called Axel, and a cost project that's called Net for Age Friendly. I will come back probably uh, to develop more on these two project experiences. Um, so I will come back to the teleassist project uh, when we developed the module, medical module where we monitored the vital sign and the chronic disease parameters, the gait. So we ensured the support for a bet he better healthcare status. That's an example, and also for prevention. And another mod module registered environment parameters, smoke, temperature, gas. Uh, so we ensured a safer life for the inhabitants. 
then we provided a social platform with advices from, from the general practitioner or medical spe specialist, but uh, related to lifestyle, to exercises uh, or medication and um, uh, feedback from peers. So uh, our users could get um, an encouragement from peers to uh, use uh, the solution and to consolidate their activity uh, related to the application. So the solution at that time was developed with care for costs, uh, use an internally devolved, developed module, it was called METAS, and uh, the TV with remote control, because we considered that the user at that time were more familiar with such kind of devices, and also the costs were uh, under control. So it was a benefit between uh, or related to two uh, activities. And improved solution, uh, I think, should contain a larger absor absorption. And the platforms like Uptake uh, proved to be beneficial consolidating the interoperability mostly needed in clinical and social research for improving further the well-being and also the lifestyle of the persons. Um, in uh, related to open solutions, uh, um, I, uh, I don't have uh, so much experience. Uh, currently, I'm involved in uh, Axel. It's uh, accelerating SME's innovation capacity with the Living Labs approach. And uh, here, um, related to the definition of the uh, Living Labs approach, uh, that uh, is defined as a user center open innovation ecosystem based on systematic user co creation approach. Um, maybe uh, we will develop also this uh, this approach of open uh, platforms and uh, consolidating the industry uh, approach in uh, in this open idea uh, platforms. I think there are many developments in the domain of ambient assisted living and uh, well-being uh, to improve life for the silver age. Uh, and the researchers need more places where to find and develop uh, on existing projects uh, and the formation related to this. And uh, the open platforms, I think, may prove to be the answer. They need more, but they need more publicity and marketing and uh, the solution would be to, to, uh, to do this uh, through professional European uh, and national societies. There are many uh, such kind of uh, societies and association federations that could promote uh, the open platforms and uh, uh, provide to their members the, the information and also to uptake the platform, the open plot platforms. Uh, only uh, on, on short, <laughs> because there are uh, uh, things I, I find important, but the most important, I think, uh, it's uh, the interoperability and data sharing uh, for consistent use. Uh, it's my favorite team. Uh, many talk about it since many years, but uh, we still are not uh, at the moment where uh, interoperability is uh, at, at its best, as I say. There are a lot of standards, a lot of codes, uh, there are a lot of IT uh, solutions and the possibilities of implementation, but sometimes in, in this domain we enter um, in such details that we lose the users. And uh, now I can uh, see a solution with these current approaches related to robotic process automation. And uh, I think this will overcome the uh, complexity of the implementation of the standards and codification. And this can help uh, 
uh, interoperability, not per se, but uh, for for you for the user for benefiting because if we have data sharing in a consistent manner, we can prevent a lot of things, including pandemias. Thank you.